Hi everyone, this is Lisa from the Scrappy RX, and today I have a beautiful pink layout that I just love using some of my Studio Calico kit and new embellishments that I got. So to get started, I have my 12 by 12 piece of paper, and I cut my piece of paper called Crosshatch from the Studio Calico Lise kit in half. This is a beautiful piece of paper with these pinks and peach colors. And I'm going to start laying out my picture, and I want to use these photo frames. The gold one is from um, Maggie Holmes' Confetti Collection, and the um, or that's from Heidi Swap, and the other one is from Simple Stories, the I Am Collection. So I tried the paper on the left, and now I'm trying it on the right. And you'll see here in a minute that I decide, yeah, I like it on the right-hand side there. So I'm playing around with those photo frames. Again, I really like that gold one. That's from Heidi Swap, and the other one is from Simple Stories. Now I'm going to add some gelatos to the other side of the page. This is called Guava, and this gold one is called Gold Champagne. And you'll see I kind of just paint it on there. And then I'll put my paper back to make sure it's in the right place, and then I start adding water to get it to flow nicely and um, kind of get a nice watercolor effect so that the two sides kind of meet and swap and they don't look so stark like one side's not white and one side's pattern paper to make them kind of gel together. And I'll take my heat tool and I'll heat set it, get it to dry a little bit faster because I'm impatient and I don't like to wait around. And then I'll take uh, my pattern paper and my adhesive and I'll stick my paper down on the paper, on the 12 by 12 paper. And once the paper is stuck down, then you'll see I put the photo back on and put the frames back on, make sure I like how it looks, play around with it a little bit. Then I'll use some photo corners and I'll attach the photo to the layout. Once the photo's down, then I'm going to start playing with embellishments here. You'll see me play with these embellishments for quite a while. I actually sped it up, but I did spend a considerable amount of time playing with the embellishments back and forth to see what I liked. Um, I used some Maggie Holmes Confetti Collection, the Kaisercraft XO Collection. Um, you'll see I used some Lise Street, the X's on there, and... Um, all kinds of embellishments that I have in my collection. So you can see me put some dark words there and I'll just keep playing around. The story behind this picture is my mom and I went to San Francisco one day and I'd always wanted to try Shay's Panisse and so we went there and it was a really nice day. And there you see me putting on some Studio Calico words that are gold on pink. They look real pretty on there. So off camera I take a picture with my iPhone and see how I like things the way they look and I decided I didn't like those black letters on the right hand side so you'll see I took those off and then I'm going to start gluing everything down and I'll use the picture as reference and this helps me place things uh, where I want them to go without having to tear them up too much. You'll see on the bottom here I had to tear up those flowers a couple times to get them where I wanted but doing that really helps me so you might want to give that a try taking a picture with your iPhone when you get everything the way you like it so that you can glue it down and then everything goes where you want it to. So I just keep messing around and uh, gluing things down. I have those push pins and at the top one's red and one's pink. They're hearts. They're real pretty. And then I added some gold um, sequins to the layout and that turned out real nice and some gold accents throughout the layout that I really like how this layout turned out with the gold and the pink. It's very stunning in person. Once I got everything glued down I decided to stamp I love you three times on the right hand side there with some gold ink and um, it's just a real pretty accent that you can see on the right hand side there. Then I have my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim around the edges of the paper 
and I'm going to mount it on that um, gray cardstock that's uh, it has a warm it's a warm gray which goes real nice with the gold so you can see I attach my adhesive to the back and then I'm going to put more adhesive on that one side that I use the gelatos on so that I can smooth it out so it doesn't buckle as much on that side. You can see me smoothing out that side, make sure it's nice and flat. You'll see those little X's, those pink and gold X's from the Lizay Street Studio Calico collection. And there, the layout is complete. I'll zoom in a little bit. And at the end here, you'll see some zoomed in photos. And thanks for tuning in today. I hope to see you soon. If you have any questions and comments, you can leave them below. Please check out my blog at scrappyrx.blogspot.com. Thank you and have a great week.